Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, December 1st, and today we will cover the trades for the Yield Max funds, TSLY and CONY, Tesla and Kony. Um, and Tesla follows underlying stock Tesla, Kony follows underlying stock coin, Coinbase. So let's get to it. Um, so I have, you know, well, actually, I wanted to start with Tesla. So I have Tesla spreadsheet open. Um, again, the synthetic tab. The point of this is to track all of the movement on the synthetic position from day one. So on the top of the synthetic uh, tab is where they started their position. So Tesla started their position on November 15th with, you know, the 240 synthetic. They bought a call, sold a put. It cost them more to buy the call than sell the put. But regardless, you know, they're hoping by the expiration date of January 19th that Tesla will, will be above the strike price of 240. And so far, it's looking pretty good. And since then, uh, we'd only have two additions to the synthetic. And that's November 17th and November 27th, which is very unusual because this fund was pretty much all the time, every day, adding to the synthetic, adding more calls, adding this, adding that. And now it's slowing down. It could be because the fund managers are so busy and they can't, you know, they can only place calls on Fridays, which would make my life easier on the daily videos. And my life has been a little easier on the Yield Max videos lately. Or it could be that there's actually not the interest, like the outstanding shares, they're not moving. And maybe they're not moving because the website's not getting updated, or maybe they're not moving because there's no additional interest in the fund. I tend to think, but what, again, what do I know? I tend to think um, it's because uh, things aren't getting updated. They have so many funds now, I don't know how they can keep up. I assume they're hiring new people, but that's, you know, that's not for me to say. So if we look at the 240 synthetic, uh, Tesla, if they closed out to the position today, uh, they'd be at a debit of 15 million. Uh, even though, you know, Tesla is pretty close to the strike of 240, uh, really close. But if you look, you know, again, they, when, they, when they bought this position, um, when they bought the call, they, you know, they paid much more. They weren't at the money. We'll just say that, you know, if they were at the money, the buy, call, sell, put would have been like pretty break even. So, you know, when, when you buy a call and this, you know, Tesla price was above, you know, 240 typically at that time, then the call is going to be more. You're going to pay more for the call than you are for the put. But regardless, $15 million debit if they had to close it today, but they don't have to close it today. Today's only December 1st. So they'll probably leave this until the end of the year. That's my guess, but let's move on. Calls, as you can imagine from what I was stating before, uh, no, no activity, no activity. And that's, again, it's very unusual, uh, but I'm still throwing that happy face out there because uh, JEPY and QQQY were at, you know, they're at the month end and they're keeping me busy. So I'm okay with that. But, you know, long story short, the running total for the short calls for the month is still a debit of 55.9 million. So they're not helping matters by, you know, if they're not selling calls when they can. Let's just assume they can't. Let's assume the outstanding shares are still 67.5 million. Okay. Moving on to the close position, uh, close tab, nothing new there because nothing closed, obviously. Now to the price fluctuation, November 30th, which was yesterday, Tesla went down 1.66%. Tesla went down 0.51%. So some of you may ask, how does that happen? Normally it happens because they're selling calls and making premium. Um, but I, I was trying to explain this yesterday, and I'll try to explain it better today. So look at the calls, okay? So Tesla price is, where we go? We got the, okay, so the 240 uh, here, that's the synthetic, okay? But the 240 here, that's the short call, 1650, okay? And then we also have the 245. So we have two short calls. Now, if you look at the market value of the short calls, they have a negative amount, right? They have a negative amount. So the negative amount 
is bringing down the, the net asset value, the NAV. So when Tesla goes down, guess what happens? The market value of these two calls, you know, will go down. So, which means it won't, you know, it'll, right now they're bringing it down by 44, no, four, like the first one here, 444, 445,500, right? So if Tesla continued to go down, this market value would be less, which would make our NAV, you know, greater. So, and why is that? It's because, again, this is how much, um, you know, it would cost to close out the position. So as Tesla goes up, this market value, you know, the negative amount will be a larger amount, right? And we'll have to pay more to get out of the position. But if Tesla continues to go down and under these strike prices, the market value will continue to go down to essentially nothing. It, maybe it's easier to look at the price. So you see the price is only 270 per share, right? To close. And the other one is 102. If Tesla goes down today, these are going to get under a dollar, right? These are going to be really cheap to close. And since they're going down in price, our NAV will recover from that. So going back to the spreadsheet, that is why Tesla, you know, on down days, Tesla will typically always be Tesla, not only from the premium income on the calls, but from their recovery on the short calls, you know, the net asset value. Hopefully I explained that right. If not, I will do my best to uh, try in another video. All right, so for the day, Tesla won um, one by 1.15%, but overall for the month, and we're now at a month close, for the month, tes Tesla won. So, you know, if, and again, we're talking about total, um, not total, we're, t we're just talking about the, uh, you know, the movement in the stock price, the ETF price. So... 13% uh, Tesla, you know, Tesla beat Tesla. But again, that doesn't include the uh, distribution. So let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. It's Friday, finally. Woo! All right, active positions for the day. Guess what today is? Today is December 1st. Guess what happens? Two options expire. So something has to happen today. Either, you know, one, they these can expire worthless if the Tesla price goes way below the strike or if tesla stays at this price or goes above the strikes they will close this via roll you know when you when we say roll keep in mind that just means they close out the current and they pick a new position typically they'll roll it up and out up meaning up in strike price out meaning uh expiration date another week so we're sitting pretty good right now. Um, we are sitting pretty good. We have a potential 2% gain, possibly. But if we look at the bottom, let's see what I can... So we still can, to me, again, this is just what I calculate. What do I know? Um, it looks like we can make $0.24 cents today if Tesla uh, goes up. So let's hope that is the case. Cybertruck came out yesterday. And um, I don't... Yeah, I don't... I don't think much happened with the price honestly on tesla i didn't really get to see i was honestly busy with work but i didn't really i didn't from what i understand there's not much movement uh, one way or the other so that's fine implied volatility for the 30 days 42 percent. at least that's going up so that's a plus uh moving on cash and treasuries 11 30 uh cash treasury it's i mean pretty much nothing nothing happened they went down 124 thousand. And this tab, again, um, I'm not going to make a prediction yet. I will make the prediction on my, maybe Sunday I'll get a, get a video out for the, all of the yield max predictions. This one obviously will be my best guess because I have data. However, as you can see by looking at the numbers, I have no idea. I mean, they're not, if they pay out 90% of the income, that's $1.48. But I would, I have to assume that there's prior debits that they're going to offset this against. And even if that's not the case, I have to assume they're going to leave a credit to go into the final month because there's one more month to pay out. We still have December, which they pay out in early January. So maybe they'll just make us a little happy and pay us 60 cents, 60, 70 cents. And that will, I'll be happy with that. Um, so my rough estimate without even looking or thinking is 
probably going to be around that number, which kind of, you know, goes back to the blue part, which is like the 50, 50 part. So that's my thinking. Um, again, I'll, 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 I'll do, I'll throw a number out there eventually just for fun. Again, it's for fun. Just like this video is for fun and entertainment and I'm not a financial advisor. I know people love, love hearing that, but I got to say, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's it on Tesla. Let's move on to, uh, Coney. All right, Coney, same thing. No trades. I know. Sorry. Very boring day. Boring for you. Good for me. Um, so the synthetic position that they made for the 130, again, still only just the 1129 move. And now we look here. What is it worth? It's, um, if they closed it out today, it'd be worth a debit. Debit of 2.7 million, mainly because the coin price is below the strike price of the synthetic. And if you look at the purchase of the synthetic, this is, uh, you know, you could tell it's closer to the money because the buy call was 11 million and the sell put was 12 million. So, okay, that's a little closer. Typically when you create a synthetic position and you do it when it's at the money, it should be nearly a wash. Coney calls for the day, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, that's great. Um, nothing new, cash, cash and treasuries went down 18,000. Again, nothing, pretty much nothing, nothing to talk about. It's a very light day for Tesla and Coney. And lastly, we have the active positions for Coney for the day. And how are we sitting? We are sitting pretty damn good. Yes, these expire next week, but look at that 12% out of the money. And then guess what? You know, it wasn't that high before, but you know, coins been going down. So the, the IV that they got on that, I mean, the premium that they got on that, it was probably really good. By the way, look at the IV. It went under 70% now. So it's going down 67.25%. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we have so much upside potential here uh, that going into next week. And the big question is, it's Friday, right? They make a lot of moves on Friday. Will the yield max managers roll this down? You know, depending on what coin does today, of course, but let's just say coin stays flat today, right? Do you think the yield max managers will roll this down, say to 5% out of the money, 8% out of the money, just to collect an additional premium? What do you guys think? Let's make a prediction. I do not think they will because why? Because coin has been so unpredictable, they want to leave a cushion, even if it's 12%. That's just my opinion. If they do roll this down and they go anything below 5%, then that will be completely ridiculous in my opinion. Um, I know they're the experts, but I'm just here to speak, you know, my thoughts. I know some people don't like that, but it is what it is. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, right now we're, we're sitting okay with Tesla uh, and Coney. Uh, you know, as far as the monthly payout, again, I'll throw a prediction out, but who knows? Um, all I know is Coney's going to be less and Tesla's going to be more than the prior month. Those are, you know, that's all I can tell you right now based on, you know, what I've seen. So yeah, that's all I got for today, guys. It's Friday. I got to go to work. I already, you know, I drove in early, did the commute video. If you guys haven't watched it, uh, go take a look. Um, if you, you know, it, again, it's like a podcast, so it's not really for video. Um, so I did that. I got, I got a workout in, which is pretty good. So I just finished the workout, showered now in my car, about to go into the office and, uh, you know, start my day. Um, and then I'll have another workout at lunch. So it's a two a day today. Finally, I get two workouts in, in one day. So it's going to feel good. All right. If you guys enjoyed this content, uh, as always, if you hit the like button, it does help the content. Um, so I do greatly appreciate it. I know it's a lot of work. Believe me. I know I listen to a lot of YouTubers, and I listened to them say that, and I never listened either, to be honest. Um, but and now I'm the one saying it, which I, I, I'm just saying it to remind you. I, I'm trying not to be annoying because I get it; it is annoying. Just shut up already. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. And I hope you enjoy your Friday. Hopefully, it's a nice, easy day, and we can all have a nice, fun weekend. All right, have a good one. Later. <laughs>